You got two? He's got two on at one time. It's unbelievable. This is this is crazy right now. Hey guys, how's it going? It's another beautiful day in South Florida. So tonight is the night. Tonight's the kickoff party for the Sailfish Smackdown. I'm super excited. Fish, we got guys coming from all over the country. They've been posting on Facebook, tagging us in it. Guys from North Carolina, South Carolina, pretty much everywhere. And so tonight will just be a meet and greet. Everyone will come together. It'll be at Galuppies. Yeah, I mean, this is it. It's here. It took a year to wait for this and to plan for it. So uh, I'll take you guys with me tomorrow morning. I'll take you with me today. Uh, so we just got a lot going on. You're gonna see everything from releasing sailfish from the help boat, documenting sailfish from the help boat, checking in kayakers, everything you could possibly imagine. And the weather looks awesome for this event. So let's get this day rolling. Let's get the whole series rolling. And here we go. Let's go, day one. I'm on my way to Galuppies. It's the kickoff party. Oh man, I can't wait. I mean, this is literally one of my favorite times of the tournament. You get to go there, you get to talk to all the anglers, you get to tell fishing stories. Um, I mean, it's just it's just a good time in general. There's a lot that goes into building these events when it comes to the, even just the kickoff party alone. So you need a lot of manpower to hang up all the stuff, to remember making it appealing looking is, is huge as well. So, you know, you want people to walk in and say, wow, look at those awesome trophies. Uh, look at all the stuff they have going on. Uh, how can I get into the raffle? I want to spend money on the raffle. So you got to make it as appealing as possible. And we're ready for a killer weekend. So let's go guys, we got a lot to do today. Ready or what? Oh yeah. Kick some ass? Yeah. Gonna yeah. win this thing? I'm gonna land one this year. Awesome. Ready to rock? Yes sir. You gonna kick some ass? I hope so. I've been asking everyone, how many sales is it gonna take to win this tournament? Two. Confidence is key. How many sales is it going to take to win this tournament? At least, I'm saying three. Three sales? Yeah. Okay. I like that number. I agree. Listen, if Freddie can catch a sailfish, then that means they must be everywhere. Right, Fred? You can throw your keys in and they... I said if you caught a sailfish, then they must be just coming in in pods of thousands. He jumped into my kayak. And he said that you sent him, so <laughs> I was like, man, this must be a gift from Joe. Oh, uh, that was a gift. We will have a raffle tonight. Tickets are $10 a piece. We've got a handsome guy named Marco who's going to be walking around selling them. I'm sure we'll have a couple of lovely assistants as well. And you want to see a guy named Doug if you're in the tournament to get in involved in all of the uh, Calcuttas that will be going on tomorrow and Sunday. So if you have any questions, please feel free to come over and speak with any of us. We'd love to give you all the information we can about the tournaments. Thanks for having us, Galuppies. So what are we looking like, Doug? Looking great. Weather's good. Pretty pumped. Bite's good. Can't get better conditions. You really can't. I think it's going to be another double-digit release here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm ready. You kick some ass? I'm going to try. Awesome. Give it my best, man. Happen. Who's gonna win? It's really anyone's game this year. Okay. Okay. Any uh, selfish are out there. Uh, I mean, it really is anybody's chance. You already got people from out of state coming in very first morning and uh, hooking up with some cells. So uh, I think that's gonna build everybody's confidence, confidence going into this weekend. Yeah. And uh, you got your locals fishing hot and heavy. They've been putting their clients on uh, selfish non-stop for the last month. So uh, they know what to do, they know exactly where to go, so your locals are going to be really hot and heavy. But, uh, I mean, it's me, so you got to go for the out-of-towners, right? <laughs> it is the beginning of the beginning of the Sailfish Smackdown. So everyone is starting to, to park right now, get ready. All right, guys, so right now um, we're doing our kayak checks, which is mandatory in the morning. So we have our committee guys uh, with the help of Nautical Ventures and some of my other helpers that check everything in the kayak, make sure all the rigs are the right rigs for this event. This is a catch and release tournament, and each time these kayaks are checked, 
uh, they get two stickers. They get one from the Coast Guard, they get one from us. So that's how we know when they're hooked up and they call the help boat with a sale, we look directly for the sticker to make sure that they were checked in. So. Well, we're about to do the shoot off. We're about 10 minutes away. And uh, as you can see, everyone lines up right on the beach. Uh, we got a lot of kayakers that are in the water. They have live wells and they got live bait. So the boat right there is providing the bait and they got to keep it alive. So what we let, so what we do is we let the kayak anglers stay within the buoys. They can't go past the buoys until I give the call to shoot off. As you can see, you know, there's all these different types of kayaks over here. Um, I mean, everything from Hobies to Vibes to basically wilderness to everything. So it's pretty cool to see. Everyone's got a different customized type of kayak, uh, which is really awesome for people when they're here just to check it out. So if, if you haven't been to one of these events, you, you, listen, you don't have to fish it. You can come here, meet some of the best in the country from all over the country. See, the growth of the Sailfish Smackdown has been truly unbelievable. We had 12 people fish the very first Sailfish Smackdown, which is, I couldn't believe it. And guess what? The winner of that event was from Oklahoma, a landlocked state. And that changed everything for extreme kayak fishing. It's just a fun event, so hopefully we'll see you guys here soon. Good luck today, guys. I'm gonna do the countdown. Here we go, ready. Three, two, go, 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 go. Good luck, guys. All right, guys, so. Uh, we have a guy hooked up to a sailfish right now. We got Extreme One on him. And we're on him as well. Yes. All right, get him up. Get a picture of him. Got a leader? 820. Guys, so we got the first sailfish of the day, 820. Uh, the guy's from New York. Awesome. So he just successfully released it. He got a double. Does he have a double? No way! You got two? He's got two on at one time. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this is this is crazy right now. All right, guys. So the New Yorker is hooked up again. He's got a double. He's got two two sails hooked up. Oh, I think he lost one. Oh, uh, he lost one. All right. He's got another sail hooked up. If he gets this sailfish, that makes it two sailfish. So he'll be in the lead. Come on, man, you got this! Double header. 
cut one of the lines. Uh, so, so far today, uh, this is our fifth sail. And uh, if he lands it, then this would be his second. Uh, this is an angler from New York, fishing here in Pompano Beach, Florida. Oh! Get him in! Peter? No. Nice hand line. Oh, shit. Oh, lost it. Oh, All right, guys. Still open game. Hey guys, so I just got back from the help boat. What a day we had for day one. We had four sailfish that were landed and uh, we had eight sailfish that were lost. So lots of opportunities today. The New York angler, I mean, what a cool story that is. I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, the guy had three sailfish. He could have literally almost won the whole tournament. I mean, on day one, if he got three of those sailfish. So uh, he's in first place right now because of time. He was the first angler to land his sailfish. So right now we have an out-of-state New York angler who came to Pompano Beach, Florida. He's in first place. Awesome. Uh, then we had um, uh, Mitchell Murphy, and he is in second place. And he got his fish at 9.14. 9 o'clock was a big, um, like the whole hour of 9 was huge for us. The help boats, it was crazy. All the guys were calling on the radio. There was lots of hookups, and uh, it was it was like a Chinese fire drill. It was crazy. So at 9.14, we had uh, Mitchell Murphy, and then at 9.21, we had Nick Weber, and then at 9.50, we had Benny Towson. So that was three guys landing sailfish all in that hour of nine o'clock. So uh, it just shows you those pods, they're running in and out. And uh, that was a really big hour for us. Uh, tomorrow is another big day. Tomorrow's the grand finale for this event. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Anything can happen with the Sailfish Smackdown. We saw that last year. And then we'll have the award ceremony uh, right after that. So uh, we got a lot still going on.